Yo, yo, what's up, y'all? It's your host, Eddie Johnson. We here again. I don't remember what episode this is. I think this is number seven. <laughs> but um, nonetheless, we here. Um, I think I'm, a, as the saying go, a day late and a dollar short. But I think this is right on time either way because, you know, when when, when big events happen, you know, it's 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 the the headlines and, and this everything that everyone is talking about for the first day or two and then it just fizzles out and everyone goes back to regularly scheduled programming and um i think uh that this is the time for me to actually speak on it you know again because people have maybe forgot about it and just gone back to what they've been doing before before anything happened right uh, that is Really, the, the, the recent events, I think it was last weekend, with the whole um, World concert. And also, I wanted to talk about uh, Kanye, Kanye being on um, Drink Champs. I'm sure some of you guys may know what uh, podcast I did. That's Nori and everything like that. So, um, And I, I, I listened to a couple excerpts of it. And um, just the fact that he was on there, on that particular publication or show whatever i think that really right there that shows who his allegiance is to um you know he's been doing these sunday services and all that good stuff and uh making i guess what most will call uh, gospel music um and even after even before him being on drink champs you know his the release of his album all that stuff the people that he's aligning himself in his himself with i think that just speaks volumes and as the people of God, we can't be, we we can't be so gullible to just think that just because someone says the name Jesus, that that means that they believe in Him and that they're you know believers in Christ and and all these things. You know, the Bible says that you will know a person by their fruits. So, like, what is their life portraying? You know, besides what they talk about, how are they living? And, and what what the way that they're living does that speak? on what and who they believe in, right? Um, I feel like a lot of times, and I think I, I used to be like that too, you know, just because a, 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 a popular musician or whatever, an artist or whoever said the name Jesus or, or said God, not even Jesus really, but said like, God, thank God, or I want to thank God for this, that, and the third, that just automatically meant to me that, okay, they believe in God. They know who God is. But it's funny because in today's service, I was just explaining to my wife, um, there's a difference between knowing someone and actually knowing them, having a relationship with them. When you know someone, um, like I could be a stranger and just see, okay, a person that I see on a day-to-day basis because I'll keep walking past them or we go to the same train station or whatever, they have a bunch of different pairs of Jordans on each day. And, um, you know, they got on a a certain basketball jersey or whatever, you know, a a certain person's clothing that they that they wear, you know, frequently. So I'd be like, okay, I know this person likes Jordans. I know they like uh, this athlete or I know they like this clothing brand because they wear it all the time. You know, I know these things about them. I see them walking their dog. I know that they have a dog, you know, so I know certain things about this person. But I don't know them. I don't know who they are. I don't know what they're about. I just know what's seen on the outside that many people that are looking on, you know, or that that walk past this person just like I do, that they know these things as well. But that doesn't necessarily mean that they know them. You know, in order to actually know someone, uh, that means that you have a relationship with them. You are intimately connected to them and know them, you know, know them in a way that, you know, like say say your family, you know your family more than a stranger would know your family because you have a relationship with them, you have a certain rapport with them, right? And so 
just because I, I say that, you know, I love God or whatever, if my life doesn't speak of that, and if I'm not, out, you know, practicing those things that would actually prove and be evidence of me actually knowing who God is and knowing, you know, having a relationship with him, then that means I don't know them. You know, I, that means I don't know him. And um, just speaking on, on Kanye, just because he's making all this music, I mean, music sells. If something sounds good, people are going to gravitate to it. They're going to buy it, you know, no matter what you say in it. A lot of times people don't even pay attention to lyrics. They just listen to a beat and they, and they go with it. They don't know what's really behind that and the intent behind that that music, you know. So just because Kanye is saying, you know, saying that what he said, Jesus is king or whatever he said, and um, he's making you know Christian music and stuff like that. Look who he's aligning himself to. He got Marilyn Manson, a, a known and professed Satanist, at his concerts. You know, um, he's on Drink Champs, and I mean the name speaks for itself. <laughs> drink Champs, they drinking. He's out here. You know, they they got him to smoke weed and everything like that. And you got to ask yourself, somebody that has a grand stage, you know, a grand platform such as his, many people are looking at him. So he, he's an influencer. And if you call yourself a believer in Christ and you have that, that platform, you have to understand that these people that are actually, that actually want to know who Jesus is, they're looking at you now. And so you have to represent yourself in a certain way. I can remember even personally, um, you know, I used to, I used to, I used to smoke, I used to smoke weed and, um, you know, I would get caught every now and then, by by my parents, <clears throat> excuse me, my dad would be like, you know, you got to protect your testimony. You can't be out here living that way and doing these certain things, but yet professing Christ. So then people are going to be like, oh, you know, people that, you know, are new in the faith or want to get to know who Jesus is and they're doing the same things you're doing. They'd be like, OK, it must be cool to do it because he's doing that. And he believes in Jesus. He says all these things. So it's like your actions have to follow what your words say. You know, um, so with, with that, you know, with, with Kanye is, is a part of the music industry. So now let's go over to Travis Scott and, and Astro World and all of those the crazy things that was reported in the news of people dying and people having heart attacks and all these things, you know. Um, and I'm not saying that he said he's a Christian or not, but I just bring him up because you have to understand what is behind the music industry and what is behind all these artists and these celebrities and even outside the music industry, just entertainment in general, what the driving force is behind these people, you know, who, who they truly worship, uh, if you will. Um, it's not God too. It's not the God of the Bible. That's for sure. Um, so, you know, we tend to think that, yeah, I could listen to whatever music I want to listen to and still be in the word of God. You can't straddle the fence. You know, you can't serve two masters. You got to be one. You got to be, you know, all in, all in for Christ. So, you know, we listen to these artists. Meanwhile, these certain things are happening at they, they shows and they concerts. And this is the music that they're, that they are performing. These are the people that they're aligning themselves with professed and known Satanists. You know, people that in their music, they disrespect women. They, you know, and, and then you got the kids that are looking up to them. The kids are the ones that they're targeting, you know. So we can't, you know, and then, you know, I know people are going to be like, oh, you can't judge. The Bible says don't judge. That's a lie. The Bible says to judge with righteous judgment, meaning judge according to the word, you know. And also we have to make sure that we ourselves are not doing those things before we point out the fault in someone else. You know what I mean? So. It, it, we are supposed to do this, and especially being being of the body of Christ, we're supposed to look out for one another. And so that means to tell people the hard truth, the truth that may not you know, be taken well, the truth that people may not want to hear because it goes against what they're doing and how they're living, how they feel. But we have to remember the truth has no regard for feelings and emotions. The truth is the truth, whether you like it or not. You know, and I think um, over the years I, I've be become more comfortable with saying the truth, you know, saying the things that people may not necessarily want to hear, because, especially when it comes to the word of God, because there's so much at stake. Your soul is at stake, you know. Um, so I just want to 
really reiterate the fact that we have to be careful with the things that we're allowing into our spirit, with the things that we're engaging in, with who we look up to. Uh, just because you, you, you say that you're a believer in Christ, well, what is your life like? How, how are you living? That'll really tell what you believe and if you believe in Christ. You know, so we can't be we can't be gullible. And then people think that, well, if I if I do do away with these things, then life is just going to be boring. Well, it's better to have a boring life (laughs) here on Earth and be right with the Lord, you know, than to be into whatever you want to be into. And then God is not pleased with that. God is not accepting that, you know, so you got to take things into perspective. Uh, You can't just get so lax. And think that we could just do whatever we want and and engage in whatever activity we want. And God is just going to be okay with it. He's going to be like, yeah, I know this person's heart and they're they're okay. When realistically, yes, he knows your heart. And if you into those things, if you giving your time and your energy to these to to the industry, to the music industry, the entertainment industry, whatever. And we know now now God knows where who your allegiance is with and where your allegiance lies. And it's not with him. You know, so uh, I just think, you know, again, I just wanted to bring it up because the when the dust settles and everything goes back to normal and we have to always be vigilant and be aware that the enemy puts these things and, you know, these things in our way to distract us, to get us away from Christ. Um, and so we need to understand and, and, and putting those things in front of us, being uh, be it a person or an activity, a, a, a thing, whatever it is. And let's be let's keep it real. Kanye is not uh, someone that the Lord would would say that. Yeah, listen to this one. He's still in the industry. He's still making music with these secular artists that go that that the content of their music and their art is against what the Lord says is against the Bible. So we need to understand that and be comfortable with knowing that certain things, certain um, activities and certain traits or whatever they have to be done away with there's the the lord has no you can't have any place with that in your life if you're gonna serve the lord you know and um i just kind of wanted to touch on that real quick uh because it has been on my mind for the past week i just it's been been busy so i I was grateful that i was able to (laughs) to set some time aside to talk about this because it's an important topic the industry is not what you think it is. You know, you have people talking about that uh, the concert being at that Travis Scott concert was like being in hell because of all the things you couldn't breathe. I heard people say that they couldn't see. I heard people say that there was a certain uh, music being played and it made them feel a certain way. It made them pass out. It made it made all these things happen to them. And you got to understand because there's a certain spirit. Uh, in these places, in these concerts, and and that these these musicians uh, kind of carry with them, and it ain't the Holy Spirit, you know. So those things you have to be really pay attention to that. The things that you listen to, that you give yourself up to, that you allow into your your, your atmosphere, into your spirit, those things will have you know a, a stronghold on you, and um, it's not a good one. You know, a lot of times the music and the things that we allow is it's what keeps us back from. Uh, really serving the Lord and and really keeps us in a certain place that we really, we know that we don't want to be with. We know that people try to get out of, but they can't seem to shake you or whatever. And you got to understand it's because of the things that are in your atmosphere, the things that uh, you are allowing yourself to take hold of. If it ain't about the Lord, if it ain't about the word, it's about the enemy. It's about Satan and the devil. So we need to get away from that, those things. Um, but yeah, man, I just wanted to come on here and wrap to y'all real quick about that because it's again, it's important. Um, get away from the industry, get away from secular music. You see now that it has absolutely nothing to do with the Lord. It seems like you know the veil is truly being lifted, and people are outwardly uh, uh, professing, you know, or, or doing these things that we know is not according to the Word. Um, we we could say, you know you could tell that in in them concerts especially this actual world one that it was definitely satanic it was definitely there was definitely demonic influence behind it and again it's not even hidden anymore you know he came out with this po- apology you could just look at you could just look at someone and tell that they not they don't really mean what they're saying it's all because they have to do it really 
because if they don't, then that comes against their livelihood, you know. So just be aware of who is who, you know. Look at the fruit behind people, especially being with Kanye. Look at that, man. You know, look at who he's with. Look at what he's doing. Um, just just don't be fooled, basically. Don't be naive and don't be gullible. Whereas if someone just says that they believe in God, then that's it. They believe in God and I can listen to them. I can do what they're doing, whatever. No, you got to examine what they're doing. If what they're doing doesn't align with scripture, they, then you, that's your answer right there. They're not for the Lord. So you have to pay attention. You know, now is the time. It's crucial now. Now is the time that uh, the enemy is really ramping up uh, his efforts to get everyone off track. You know, because he knows his time is running up. We truly are in end times. But thank God that there's a way out of that. You know, he, he's given us Christ. You know, he's given us his word so that we can be connected to him and know him and, and, and be on his side. You know what I mean? So make sure you, you answer that call. When the Lord calls you, when um, the Lord tells you to come home, like my the, one of the episodes, I think it was episode five or something like that. Come back home. When the Lord is calling you, you'll know it and you need to answer that call. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day to get your life right with Christ. Nothing has worked for you up until this point. So now it's time to give God your all, to give it to him and, and let God uh, do what he needs to do in you and create a new person in you through his word. Okay. So, yeah, man, I just want to say that. I hope y'all uh, have a great week this week. Um, you know, that you, you, you do take heed to this. I hope, you know, this blesses you guys. As always, you know, it blesses me to speak on these things and then come back and listen to it because there's things that I need to examine within myself as well. You know, you can't just say things and not take your own advice, you know, so I try to do that. Um so, yeah, man, I hope uh, you have a blessed week. Um, take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Stay warm, especially on the East Coast. <laughs> Make sure y'all warm. And, um, yeah, man, God bless you guys. Yo, yo.